So there is one question that you may get on the chapter 10 quiz that might be a little confusing. Uh, it looks like this. Consider the following competing hypotheses and accompanying sample data. Uh, you're testing, it's a two sample t-test, but the tricky part that the book doesn't really get into and does not give you a formula for is the part about assume equal variances. In the formula that's in the book, we're assuming unequal variances. So in order to do this problem efficiently, the best option is to use Minitab. So Minitab is installed on the computer labs on the campuses, so you should be able to get to Minitab. I've already started a session here. Um, first we go to stat, basic statistics, and we're dealing with a two sample t-test because we're dealing with sample standard deviations. So click here uh, and the options are that I need is summarized data. So now I need to go back and see what the data look like. Uh, all right, so that's going to make my life difficult. Let's see if I can do this. That'll work. All right, so stat, basic statistics, two sample T. Summarized data, although because we don't have the actual data, it's just all summarized. The first sample size is N1, which is 22. The mean is 57, standard deviation 21.5. The second sample size was 18, 43 was the mean, and 15.2 was the sample standard deviation. And then the nice thing about Minitab, it does have the dialog box or the check box here. It says assume equal variance, so you need to check that off. Then I'm going to go into options. Confidence level 95% sure. Test difference, the, that's the hypothesized difference, which was up here at 5. So I need to make that a 5.0, and it's equal, not equal. Click OK. Click OK. And then in mini tab, we see that we get out the stuff that I already put in. It did calculate the standard error of the mean for each. Uh, found the difference. All right, the 95% confidence interval, the T value is the thing you're looking for for this particular question. So it's found there, the P value, and it calculates that big nasty degrees of freedom formula for. And it says both use pooled standard deviation of 18.9424. That is because we checked off assumed equal variances. So it used a pooled standard deviation. So that should help you with that particular question in chapter 10 quiz if you happen to get it. They are random so you may not get that one.